Hey, how'd you guys like to have a really cool website for yourself? Maybe a blog, an online store, Squarespace, an all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create a professional website, blog, portfolio, and now an online store. Squarespace introduces a new commerce solution that allows you to instantly create a store and start selling products. Squarespace Commerce provides a powerful and flexible e-commerce solution integrated to work with every Squarespace template, allowing sales for both physical and digital goods. For example, you can sell music CDs or MP3s, hardcover books or eBooks. Squarespace has a fast merchant account set up so that you can accept payments right away via credit or debit Cards, get paid, green bills, dividends, get it from Squarespace, single interface for order management, tracking orders, providing customer email updates, printing, shipping labels, and adding coupons, Squarespace Commerce is included with a business plan subscription, which starts at $24 per month when you sign up for one year. For a free trial and 10% off for your first purchase on new accounts, go to squarespace.com slash jmore. That's squarespace.com slash jmore and use the offer code J3, J-A-Y-3, or go to fakemustache.com and click on the Squarespace banner in the More Stories page. Everything you need to create an exceptional website. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. If you wanna battle, with either that you will that you won't. You know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Jen Murphy in the house. Ms. Is it true you're a Miss Arcadia? No. <laughs> no. I is there a Miss Arcadia contest? Yes. There is really? Of course. Yeah, they ride on a float. Does well, I don't know. Every town there's no like Miss. There's a you know. parade. They ride in the Rose Bowl. It's a really big deal. Were you you have a pageant you could you don't have a pageant vibe about you but you have a vibe to no. you where it, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you could have been like a pageant person. No way. No. No. You never aspired to be a pageant person. I was the opposite. I was the mascot in high school. No. Yes, I was. Really? Rodney the Ram. You were. A- <laughs> <laughs> I had to dress in the Ram costume. Arcadia Rams. That's the extent I went to to try and be with the cool kids. But how, that's so, that says so much about your personality too. Like, I want to be the cool, I want to be with the cool kids, but I don't, I don't like impose. So I'll dress as a ram. Well, so now, if they don't like me, at least I have a big goofy, funny ram face on. It was the Temple City Rams. Temple City's a really small city right next to Arcadia. I didn't, wow, it sounds so rough. <laughs> Where are you from? Temple City. <laughs> Temple City. Temple, right? Now, Temple. Oh, Temple, Temple City. Oh, Temple. I know where that is. That's right, by, would have been that's right by Arcadia. Yeah, Temple City. <laughs> you really were the Ram mascot? I just really wanted to be on the cheer squad, like the cool girls, but I just wasn't good enough. I, had, I couldn't kick and stuff, so I tried out. Nobody tried out for the mascot, so I was like, that's a brilliant idea. From what I've heard and from what I've learned and from what I've seen with my own eyes and nose holes, the mascot... Uh, it always smells like vomit and bad, like homeless body odor in there. Well, that was the problem. It sounded like a really good idea. And then, you know, when you're in high school, the exciting part is after the football games, you go to one of the players' houses for the post party with like football players and cheerleaders. And I would be like drenched from being in that costume all night. And do you feel like, hey, we Just were all at the sweating. game? Yeah, we were all at the game, right, guys? And they're like, we have no idea who you are. And you're like, it's me, Rocky the Ram. I was in a corner alone eating potato salad. You're like, hold on, maybe you'll recognize me now. <laughs> hey guys, oh, and you're doing the big like, I can't hear you with your hands over your ears. And they're like, oh, the Ram. <laughs> Uh, but if it does it really smell bad inside a mascot costume? Probably. I don't know. It's been so long now. But you were the one wearing it. I was wearing, yeah. So if you're wearing it, why does it smell so funky? Well, I don't think it smelled for me. 
It's just years past. You can't wash one of those things. Why not? How you do mess- you wash them? I don't know. Put it in a washing machine? It's fur. I don't think it's real fur. I don't think PETA likes that mascots are made out of real animals. Otherwise, Isn't they would have a ram on the field. It's like plastic and fur. Yeah. It's huge. Just like a real ram. Plastic and fur. <laughs> That's how they make ram trucks. <laughs> um. So you're it the mascot. Fun. Where I, do you go? Where do you sign up to be the mascot? Like, what office do you go to and go, hey, is anybody wearing that Ram costume? Well, you know, there's like cheer tryouts and everyone signs up to be cheerleaders and there was only two of us to be a Ram, so I knew I had it in the bag. Why was the other person too big for the costume? She's not good. No, but she's just not good. How, I blew her out of the water. <laughs> what do you do to become, to win, let me put that in quotes, to win you have the job to, of Ram? You have to make up. <laughs> you just have to make up a little dance, and then be able to dance with the ram head on. So you have to be able to carry some weight on your shoulders. How I'm much, an athlete. I don't how, know if you know how, that. How, how <laughs> much? How much dick did you get wearing that fucking? None. Ram You're like, yo, throw some dick this way, because I'm the ram. I didn't even get asked to the prom. No. I didn't go to my high school prom. I went uh, alone. I went with another guy yeah. that didn't have a date. Swear to God. Uh, swear to God, swear I, to God, I, I, <laughs> story, bro, swear to God. So you, were you always so creative anymore. like in high school? Um, were you on drama and stuff? Yeah, I was in drama. What plays well, did you do in high school? I used school? to, they didn't really have like straight plays. They just had like Gay musical, <laughs> like musical theater department. Yeah. You had to be a singer. You could sing? No, I'm really bad, but I really wanted to be in it. So I just lip sync for a while. I'm surprised by how many things you've been good at, but admittedly been bad at going in. I, just, I couldn't dance, so I was the mascot. I couldn't sing, so I was in musical theater. Well, they have to take you because, you know, you can't turn away kids. It's mean. But they just stick you in the back if you're not good. What play? Do you remember what play? I remember... We did The King and I. That's good. And I just had to run around and do cartwheels because I couldn't really be a singer. But why couldn't you be a cheerleader if you could do cartwheels in musical theater? See what we're doing here? Because you have to have rhythm to be a cheerleader. You, you don't have, have to, rhythm? No. But don't you think comedy, Jen Murphy, <laughs> don't you think comedy, there's a, a very specific rhythm to what you're doing? Yeah, I have good comedic timing, I think. So why do you do comedic dance? I, well, I didn't, have that, <laughs> I didn't have that insight when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> She's only seventeen. I just wanted to be cool. Um, we all just want to be cool, and it, you know what's weird? When you get out of high school, everybody you thought was really cool, they thought you were cool, and you don't know it till you leave. Like all the soccer people, yeah. like football is the all-time coolest, but then you realize they're super jealous of the camaraderie that all the soccer people have, and all the band people, like they really have a brotherhood because they get the snot kicked out of them all the time. But they're going on bus rides all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't know who's. And then when you look back at your high school, everybody you thought was good looking are like fat slobs and not pretty at all. That was the most. That's one of the most amazing moments I've had as a comedian. I performed at the Ice House like two years ago, and like six girls came from high school who I haven't seen since high school, but they all live in the area still. And it was all the most popular girls, like the top. And they, I didn't recognize them. They were like huge and like big. You're like, oh my God, what happened? You were the cool girls. What do you think? <laughs> Walk me through, honestly, what you think happened to them. And give me names. No. <laughs> Why not? They were the top. They were the coolest ones. Well, how do you go well, from what the top happens to a fat lady at the ice house? Well, I think it's just that, like, if I guess if you peak in high school, like they say in a lot of movies and stuff. You know what's amazing? It's all Where these years later. Where they got married and had kids. Some of them were getting pregnant right when we were graduating. <laughs> See, I didn't have a date, so I didn't have that problem. <laughs> uh, do you want kids? Mm, I don't That's think a no. so. I mean, I do, but it's not looking likely. I love what you say on stage about why you want to have a kid. Oh, yeah, because I'm lonely. I want to be pregnant so bad. Because? What? Because I just want someone to talk to. <laughs> this is what I want. I want to be pregnant, and I want to have the baby where you carry him in, on your front pack while you go hiking, like a little animal. You know those baby yeah. Bjorns, and you carry baby them. Bjorn. Yeah, yeah. And then once it gets past that, I don't know. You just let him free into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> you just well, let him go. I'm a really good babysitter. Then you but... just set him loose, like catch and release, like fish. You've been doing comedy seven years. Uh, you have gotten, you and I have been friends a long time and I will say this, female comics 
tent, from my experience, are the biggest fucking flakes. I don't understand why you say that. Ask Ryan, ask Kevin and Bean. They couldn't get a female comic on April Foolishness. The only people that have canceled my podcast were female comics. And I'm like, well, what about this one? What about that one? What about this one? This will be a good booking, this one. And I'm not talking like Aisha Tyler, Margaret Cho, the girls that are like... There's there's comics you got to know, you got to put in the work. You got to be in the trenches and you got to be digging. I don't understand what it is. And like Jen Kirkman's coming on and then you and I like passing each other in the clubs and I remember I was texting you on my, literally on my way to work and I was like, what the fuck am I just had? Ask Jen to do the podcast. She's hysterical. Oh my God, you made my whole day when you called. Well, I, I thought I was, all, I thought I was dreaming. You thought you were dreaming? Oh, I did wake you up. <laughs> I forget that I go to work at 7.30. Like, hey, Jen, what's up? Hey, listen, when we're in Brea, you're like, what? Well, first of all, I put on my wish list that I could open for you in Brea. No. Yes, I did. I almost took a picture of it Do and it. showed it to you. It so we'll put it on the Tumblr page of more stories. So first of all, yes? I, I really was going to take a picture of it. But and then I felt please, lame. Put, yeah, you, I will. So, okay, good. I will. But you're really It fu- says, like, in the row, it says... Open for Jay, and then it says do Jay's podcast. And I text Dan like last week, like if he needs a note. But I knew Ryan would be here, but it's cool. Yeah, but you but it worked out. Chipped into Ryan Sickler's time. Very few people have that kind of juice where I can say, "Hey, Sickler, don't do a half hour. Do fifteen minutes. Let Jen get up there and do some of her stuff." Yeah, he's nice and supportive. Uh, I liked your bit about uh, size not mattering about penises as a member of a guy with a small dick club. I like what you said. Oh, are you? I don't know. That's better, though. Because honestly, people that are really big, they don't get blowjobs. They don't get them? Well, you can't. How could you? I mean, I'm sure there's some girls that do, but... I'll suck his dick right now. Who is he? It's not as likely. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but you don't know it when you decide to blow a guy. When he takes it out, you can't go, I don't know it was this big. I can't. I've never have blown somebody that I'm not having sex with. But what you just said they don't get blowjobs so they have huge you brought this up that's what I'm saying I don't like, think I'm being lecherous no that's what I'm saying like you have more sex but they're not gonna get as many blowjobs because because you're like I can't put that whole thing in my mouth a lot of guys that are really big don't even ask I think they're just used to it you're assuming your vagina hole is larger than your mouth hole it stretches easier is that so it's made to stretch I'm part, and I'm have part babies. Python. I'm part python. <laughs> I can unhinge my jaw. Do you have any idea how hard it is to put those things in your mouth? No. It's really, really hard. But I'm willing to learn. There's uh, so much technique that you have no idea. There's Where's a lot sh- of thinking involved. <laughs> really? Uh, I had to control my breathing. I had to control my teeth. I had to control everything all at once. And then I have to really think about how I'm going to enjoy it so much that I make... This is getting dirty. This Let's talk great. about Why? something Don't else. Don't about now. Everybody got super interested. Everyone's like, hold on, rewind that. <laughs> and we'll put photos up of uh, Jen Murphy on the Tumblr page, uh, <laughs> at jmore37. She's a looker. Oh, you're nice. Thanks. That's what my wife says, like when nobody wants to take I love a your wife. You're nice. You go, you look really pretty today. Oh, you're nice. Like, no, you're, I'm looking at a fucking pretty person. Your wife is really pretty. And she thinks you're funny. She's awesome. We saw you at the improv on Melrose, and that thing when you were doing the whole thing about being pregnant, it was hysterical. It was great. And we we drove home going, she's really funny. We had a whole conversation about you. But I'm fascinated because when I have sex with my wife, and if there's filleting, I don't really ask questions about the whole thought process. But you're telling me women actually think a lot when they're doing it? Well, maybe it's different for, if you're let me married. Say this real quick. For the record, you need to let the listeners know there's not a lecherous energy at all in this. No, show. no, of course it's not. Two friends talking. Yeah, you yeah. met my wife. We're friends. You're a com- It's too comic. It's not a pretty girl comic and a guy. It's too because I know people are like. Well, Has someone fucking accused weird. you of that before? No, I'm just staying ahead of it. Oh. <laughs> Root beer floats. Party time! Thanks, boss man. We are at the Brea Improv Yay. in the green room, and we've oh, asked them to bring us root beer floats from. Farrell's free plug. Whoa, oh, are you okay? The man fell down with root beer floats. This is fancy. This is super fancy. All right, this is for you, my man. This is staying in the podcast, by the way. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's hard to get up. So, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You try it. All right. Let me my see straw and stuck in the ice cream. Oh, that's why. Oh, my God. I just oh, pulled up so two. good. So talk about what, I don't Loads. know, what are women thinking about when they're doing that? Generally? Well, I think if you're married, it's different because well, you I, become in well, sync, so in sync with someone's body. 
All right. But Let's say I just meet a guy and blow him. If it's what am newer, I thinking? 